This device monitors police radio frequencies and lets you know when it hears a signal. It won't demodulate or decode these signals, so if you were hoping for that, I'm sorry to let you down. It's quite an amazing piece of kit, and me and Andy Kirby decided to do some experimenting with it recently and try and figure out how it works. So it's called a Python, and it's a small dash or window mounted device that lets you know when a police or any emergency service vehicle is close by. And an audible or visual alert gives you an indication of how far away the vehicle might be. But there's more than just that going on here, so we took the device around Hartford and Essex recently and tried to figure it all out. So on the radio side of things, the Python doesn't pick up the vehicle, but rather the police radio. And more specifically, it seems anything transmitting on the inputs for these repeaters. For those who don't know, police radios work in repeater mode and back to back. The repeaters are usually located on the top of buildings such as high rises, police force HQs, at the side of motorways and on hilltop sites. They act in simple terms as a relay to rebroadcast the signal from the police handset over a wider area. My theory that the Python receives on the repeater input frequencies where the handhelds transmit makes sense because if it received on the repeater outputs the device would be swamped. This is because police repeaters can operate anywhere in the region of 35 watts and above depending and these strong signals from further away could make you think that a police vehicle is near. As for the back-to-back -back mode I mentioned earlier, that's known as DMO mode and the range on police radios in DMO mode, especially on handsets, is notoriously bad. The UK's emergency service radio system is called Airwave and uses the Tetra digital standard. It operates between 380 and 395MHz and the Python receives between 380 and 385MHz, which could be the allocation for repeater inputs. So let's put my theory to the test. We're at Hartford Police Station and the Python is reading off the scale. There's actually no police repeater here. It's up the road on an office block a bit higher up, but we're getting signal readings off the hundreds of police handsets inside this building. These handsets will be on police officers' vests and on their desks, and while they may not be in use, they constantly ping up the network in the same way a mobile phone does so they're transmitting something most of the time. They're close to this device and it's picking them up. As we drove around the town, the Python kept going off with a strong signal reading and sure enough, nine times out of 10, an emergency service vehicle would come into view. We tried this at a motorway bridge and saw a vehicle every time we got a hit on the Python. There was one full scale signal which may have been an unmarked police car. We then drove back into town and got numerous hits on the device such as this fire engine and the signal strength increased as we got closer and closer and faded gradually as the vehicle pulled away. The strong signal readings show when a vehicle is pretty much in direct line of sight and in the vicinity so you know if you receive a full signal a vehicle is close. The weaker signals are common too and give you an idea of what might be in the vicinity. Of course, if you're in a built-up area close to multiple roads, the vehicles giving off a weaker signal may be on another road. We did some testing with a handheld radio as well to check the desensitisation on this device and it's quite impressive. We transmitted on a VHF frequency within the 2 metre amateur band just inches away on 5 watts and the Python only showed a 1 bar hit. We also transmitted on a UHF 70 cm frequency around 430 MHz which is the closest we could get to the Python's operating frequency of 380 to 385 MHz. This transmission showed a full scale reading within a 1 metre radius. A few metres away the signal dropped considerably. Another interesting point is that it doesn't like lightning, much like any other piece of radio equipment. Lightning emits electromagnetic energy between 1 Hz and near to 300 MHz, so every time there was a flash, the Python went off. 
As for the hardware inside the Python, it's not clear without dismantling it, which we didn't want to do, but I'd guess for cost effectiveness and simplicity, there's some sort of software defined radio in there that's constantly sweeping 380 to 385 MHz. It has a single short antenna which can be replaced for something different, so I'd guess it's not doing any sort of Doppler activity and it's certainly not providing any directional information. But it works, and it works well, and what's more, they're completely legal to use and a lot of fun as well.